Saint Augustine commentary on the Gospel of John chapter 8 verse 26 and 27 Tractatus 39 The words of our Lord Jesus Christ which he had addressed to the Jews so regulating his discourse that the blind saw not and believers' eyes were opened are these which have been read today from the Holy Gospel. Then said the Jews, Who are you? Because the Lord had said before, If you believe not that I am, you shall die in your sins. To this accordingly they rejoined, Who are you? As if seeking to know on whom they ought to believe, so as not to die in their sin. He replied to those who asked him, Who are you? by saying, the beginning, for so also I speak to you. If the Lord has called himself the beginning, it may be inquired whether the Father also is the beginning. For if the Son who has a Father is the beginning, how much more easily must God the Father be understood as the beginning, who has indeed the Son whose Father he is, but has no one from whom he himself proceeded. For the Son is the Son of the Father, and the Father certainly is the Father of the Son. But the Son is called God of God. The Son is called Light of Light. The Father is called Light, but not of Light. The Father is called God, but not of God. If then God of God, light of light, is the beginning, how much more easily may we understand as, much, as such that light from whom the light comes, and God of whom is God? It seems therefore absurd, dearly beloved, to call the Son the beginning, and not to call the Father the beginning also. But what shall we do? Are there, then, two beginnings? Let us beware of saying so. What then, if both the Father is the beginning and the Son the beginning, how are there not two beginnings? In the same way that we call the Father God and the Son God, and yet say not that there are two gods, and yet who, and yet he who is the Father is not the Son. He who is the Son is not the Father. And the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of the Father and of the Son, is neither the Father nor the Son. Although then, as Catholic ears have been taught in the bosom of Mother Church, neither he who is the Father is the Son, nor he who is the Son is the Father, nor is the Holy Spirit of the Father and of the Son either the Son or the Father, yet we say not that there are three gods, although if we asked of each a part, we must, of whichever we are questioned, confess that he is God. But all this seems absurd to those who drag up familiar things to a level with things little known, visible things with invisible and compare the creature to the Creator. For unbelievers sometimes question us and say, Whom you call the Father, do you call him God? We answer, God. Whom you call the Son, do you call him God? We answer, God. Whom you call the Holy Spirit, do you call him God? We answer, God. Then say they, Are the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit three gods? We answer, No. They are confounded because they are not enlightened. They have their hearts shut up because they want the key of faith. Let us then, brethren, by an antecedent faith that heals the eye of our heart, receive without obscurity what we understand and what we understand not. Believe without hesitation. Let us not quit the foundation of faith in order to reach the summit of perfection, 
The Father is God, the Son is God, the Holy Spirit is God. And yet, He is not the Father who is the Son, nor He the Son who is the Father. And the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of the Father and the Son, is neither the Father nor the Son. The Trinity is one God. The Trinity is one eternity, one power, one majesty. Three, but not three gods. Let not the reviler answer me. Three what, then? <clears throat> For he adds, If there are three, you must say three what? I reply, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. See, he says, you have named the three, but express what the three are. Nay, count them yourself. For I make out three when I say, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. For the Father is God as respects himself, but he is the Father as respects the Son. The Son is God as respects himself, but he is the Son as regards the Father.